Hello friends, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use URL tracking option advanced and to use this feature, um, I would like to show you the live project of mine so that you will learn how to use this URL tracking option. So I hope you can see my screen. As you can see, this is the AdWords account of mine. It's already running. So far 25 clicks I got and this is the average CPC and that much cost I have spent it and this is the position is coming. Uh, this option is a new option uh, launched by Google, but it's actually not a new option. Uh, earlier also we are we were using this option, but now how to use this option I'm going to show you. So let me show you. This is the advertisement of mine. I'm promoting uh, this blog of mine. I'm into training. This is the website of mine, ppcexpertclasses.com. So if uh, anybody interested to learn PPC in advance, not only for the AdWords, but for the Facebook, for Yahoo and Bing network, for the LinkedIn, and to use tools like MCC editor, power editor, Bing editor, how to track IPs and all these things. So I'm into trainings. You can uh, contact me anytime for more details. So uh, let's start with the topic. Let's move to the topic first. I hope you have seen like uh, we can create advertisement in AdWords account. I hope that you know how to use this interface. So when we create advertisement, I hope you have seen one new option here. So this is what I'm giving you a tutorial on to it. It's not a complete tutorial I'm giving you. I'm just giving you an idea how to use it. Rest once you will contact me if you have any doubts regarding this, you can contact me for the more details. So let me show you what exactly option uh, we will cover today in this tutorial. And I'll give you more updates on to it. This is the ad copy which I have designed. This is the blog of mine which I'm promoting. And this is the final URL. This is the landing page on which user will land if somebody clicks on my advertisement. So this option you can see here, it's a new option Google have recently added up. Add URL option advance. So in this option, what I have done, just now I have created. So I'm just uh, showing you on the live project. I'll uh, show you the uh, live project overview also after this. Like if somebody clicks how it exactly tracks the information from that page. So let me show you. Uh, first of all, what you have to do, you have to enter the same uh, URL, which is your final URL. So what I have done, I have copied this URL from here and I have pasted here, including HTTP. This option will work with HTTP only. So this is the HTTP. This is the landing page of mine. It's a blog. So it's the home page only I have given from here. Then what you have to do, you have to add forward slash here and then a question mark. You have to add it manually. Please add self this forward slash and a question mark. After that, you have to mention here source is equal to Google because the traffic is coming. My source is Google and and is for the separation. This M percent sign is for the separation because in uh, this option, we cannot use the space. A space will not work. So M percent I have used then medium. I have added up self medium is equal to AdWords. AdWords means I'm getting clicks. Uh, these are the paid traffic. So I want to track paid traffic only. So AdWords or anything you can use it CPC or anything like this. Then I have separated again by M percent. Then keyword is equal to curly braces keyword. This is the formula which I have implemented and match type is equal to match type is equal to curly braces match type and device is equal to curly braces device. There are many more uh, uh, tracking parameters which I can use here. But as if now I'm just giving an overview because in intro class like it's easy to understand the concept first. After that, if you want to learn it in advance, I'll create some of the videos later. So you will get the full info from it. So keep watching my videos for the same. So like this I have done here. What is exactly the benefit of uh, this by using this? So what I'll do, I'll test this figure. As I do, as I click to the test option, it will give me this landing page found. So if I'll put mouse on this speech bubble, it is giving me like this. My click URL is like this. If I'll click to this URL, it will come like this. PPC training experts dot blogspot dot in. Then the source is Google. The traffic is coming from Google because I'm running my ads on Google. If somebody running ads on Bing, he can use it source Bing and medium is AdWords as I'm using AdWords. You can see this is the AdWords account of mine in which I created. This is the keyword. Keyword is not appearing here, but once I'll click to the paid ad, it will show you how the keyword is appearing here. Then the match type, it will appear here match type and the device it's C means I'm, I clicked on computer. So what I mean to say by this, I'll give you an example. 
let's say if somebody searches on google with this keyword ppc course in delhi ppc course delhi let's say if somebody searches with this keyword and he clicks on my advertisement so what happened in keyword in this option in this option here after keyword it will give us um, values like this it will show us like this 20% ppc 20% course and 20% Delhi 20% Google uses for this space because as in landing page there is no space is like space is not applicable so 20% is for this space so this keyword it will show in my analytics report that the user have searches for this keyword and clicked on my advertisement and landed to the landing page so this keyword I can see it in my analytics report and the reports will come in analytics only and it will show me it will show me this match type in this match type option which is blank it will show the match type matches with my keyword let's say i have added keyword in my adwords account in phrase ppc course right so it will show me that the match type which i have user entered this is the um, user query this is the user query and this is the keyword which I have used in my AdWord account keyword right let's say I'll, I'll um, not phrase keyword let me use it the keyword which I am using in my account let me show you the keywords which I am using in my account it's in modifier so let's say if I am using this keyword like this PPC course which is actually live my ads are running as if now so I am showing you the tutorial on live project only so let me use it um, this keyword like this i'm using i hope you know the feature how exactly modifier keyword works it's functioning and all so if user entered this query ppc course daily so my ads will appear on this keyword because ppc and course these both words in user query so my ads will appear but it will show us it's in phrase match the match type will be phrase match type will be phrase why it's in phrase I'll give you the reason why it will show me in phrase match in analytics report because the keyword I have entered it's in modifier the search query which user have entered in phrase match the phrase match rule is whatever keyword is like let's say my keyword is PPC course anybody can enter anything in first and anybody can enter anything in last so like this it's matching from this option so ppc course is coming in a continuous matter in the same format and daily user have um, like extra word is coming and another phrase which user have added is daily so it is matching with the phrase match that's why it will show us in report phrase so phrase match role is like anybody can enter any pre phrase any first word or any postal phrase like any post word any phrase in last so it is matching with the this match so google will show me in phrase match like this uh, it will show for the others so in this it will give us value like this in match type if it's read it if it will uh, catch it like phrase so it will show us like p if it show us like exact then it will show us e if if it um, like finds the match type it's in broad or modified then it will show us b so if somebody searches with the same keyword let me give an example this is the keyword of mine which i'm targeting if user searches with this query this is the query ppc course so it enters the same word it is entering the same word ppc course so like it will show us now this match type is in exact so it will show us e so like this it will give us uh, values in uh, those option by catching automatically by tracking all these details from my landing page and the keyword is the keyword i have already shown whatever keyword he will enter on user search so that same keyword it will track out like this 20% is for this space like the same way I will get report and in the device option it will give us C for the computer T for the tablet and M for the mobile if somebody clicks on mobile device M will show because um, the click is happening from the mobile device T for the tablet like this it will give us value and the results will appear uh, in your analytics uh, these tracking reports we can check it out in analytics and the second very important thing if somebody using this feature I'm just sharing you this because one of the my batch is doing training onto it. 
so they have created i have given projects to him uh, to them to work on to it so like they are uh, doing these all tracking they are implementing all this tracking but they are not getting reports in analytics the reason why they are not getting reports in analytics i'm sharing on this video to use these reporting to to make these reporting work you have to enable one feature in adwords account so go to the setting and click to the account setting you have to enable auto tagging so till the time your auto tagging is not enabled you cannot use this feature so i'm just showing you how to enable auto tagging feature so accordingly you will get reports in analytics once you will enable this feature till the time this feature is not like um, enable you cannot use this uh, reporting the reports will not come in short in your um, analytics account so as i click to the account setting you can see a tab here preferences and this is the tracking coming auto tagging it's no thanks by default will come no thanks what i am doing edit it destination url auto tagging automatically tag my landing page urls and then save changes so what now this feature is ready to work on google if any user now clicks on my advertisement the reports will come in analytics under acquisition tab so let me show you let me show you this how this feature works i have enabled this auto tagging feature this is the landing page of mine which i have tested up it's perfectly working fine so i click to the campaign this is very important feature like if somebody preparing himself for an interview these are the recent updates which google have uh, launched so like like all the recent updates like you have to prepare first because the interviewer will ask what all recent changes you have seen and how the function works so please prepare on this topic this is not enough like if you have learned how to implement on ad let's say if i am having a ad group like seven eight ad groups and in every ad group i am having eight to ten ads then how to add it by using shortcuts like it's not easy every time to edit on ad and implement your tracking option it's a very time taking process so there are many shortcuts which i'm teaching in my training through which you can implement the tracking at one step and it will apply to all campaigns or it will apply to all ad group ads in your adwords account so the shortcuts i'm not sharing as if now just giving an overview but in my training i'm covering everything right so um, like this tracking i think is ready to work i have enable auto tagging i think my ads is also live on google uh let me see whether if i'll click on my advertisement i'm searching on google only just um take a one or two minute time because just now we have enable auto tagging feature so let me show you how is it working ppc institute in delhi so this is the blog of mine which is running so i'm clicking on my paid ad to show you how it exactly it appears so i've open a new tab i click my advertisement so like this it's coming you can see here as i click uh, by searching ppc institute in delhi so this is the advertisement landing page of mine you can see the tracking there source is equal to google medium is equal to adwords keyword is equal to in percentage showing me ppc this is the keyword ppc then second one is institute and the other keyword is like the same way by this keyword it's fetching so this keyword it's tracked and match type is broad because uh, it matches with the broad match device is c and this is the google click id which google has generated this is the google click id this is the unique id google has generated for this click and trust me sir uh, trust me friends this is a very good feature gcl id by using this google click id this is the id which uh, google has generated this google click id by using this click id you can use a feature to import offline conversions in your adwords account let's say i have created a campaign today i forgot to add a conversion tracking code or analytics code in my website so as i have run today my ppc campaign i got 10 conversion those conversion i know i got it from paid ads so what i want to do i want to upload all those 10 conversions in my adword account because i get it from the adwords account only so in that case um, in that case if you want to upload those conversion this google click id is very important till the time you will not enter your google click id which you will get in web logs so then only you are able to upload those offline conversion so again this is a very important function and if you are going for the uh, like in uh, good companies like mncs or in like uh, good agencies if you are going for the interview so like these questions will come if i want to upload conversions offline 
if somebody callings me or uh, gives me conversion offline so how i can add those conversions in my adword account so for that gcl id is very important this is the google click id so like this this is what exactly i want to show in this video tutorial i hope you like this uh, tutorial of mine there are many more things in advance which i am covering so if anybody wants to consult me regarding any doubt or query you can contact me anytime if you want to contact me this is the website address of mine you can contact me anytime this is ppc expert classes.com and feel free to contact me anytime thank you so much for your time have a good day thank you so much